welcome back to my channel thank you for watching it has been one hot minute I haven't made a video in a very long time I think more than a year and since that time I've been contemplating and thinking and saying to myself and people around me that I want to start by making movies or making videos and posting on my YouTube channel because that was something that I really liked doing and I missed doing it for the time I haven't done it and I am just trying to push myself out there and actually start back making videos because this is what makes me happy this is like a passion or a hobby of mine that I like doing so I thought so Jean you have the time right now you're getting to where you should be you are becoming the positive inspiring person that you want to be that is passionate about stuff so why not jump back into the things that actually make you passionate which was blogging and making videos so I am starting back Yay! this is one of my first few videos I'm making um, it was just kind of like a little get ready with me I'm going on a sushi date with my bestie and I thought why not just record myself while I'm getting ready just doing a, like a nice cute simple face and letting my hair loose why not just make a video so if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look this 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 this, this makeup look <laughs> continue watching and I share with you almost all the products I think all the products that I use on my face and just kind of get the like little talk through I think the next video I'll make will be on my hair I might make something about that um, my hair it's it's okay it's not really doing what I want it to do but it's okay for now it's okay I hope it will dry I just washed it so I hope it will dry into like a good fro leave out thing you know um yeah so I'll just stop rambling and talking about nothing that makes any sense and just let you see what I did to achieve this look um thank you for watching again and I am making a comeback to YouTube I don't know how often I'll upload videos, but I just do know that I want to start. And while I was making this video, I came up with the idea of also making like a little story time. I think that might be quite fun. There's some juicy things I have to share. So yeah, tell me if you would like to see that. I think I will start with a story time. I'll just think about how I can make the story as realistic and as honest as I can. I mean, I guess. It's just gonna be a story time where I sit down and just talk to the camera. But then you'll see it later when I actually post it, right? So, yeah! I'll see you in my next video. Continue watching this if you want to see how I achieve this look. And thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have anything to say or any suggestions on what videos I should make next. Thank you for watching and see you soon, girl! Gah! See y'all soon! I love using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's a really good pencil, about 10 euros for it at um, Douglas here in the Netherlands. It is really nice because it's perfect and it's affordable and it is super comparable to the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and also the MAC one. I have tried that one out and it was really nice. I recently got my brows waxed and Henna, Henna, they were Henna. I got Henna applied to my eyebrows. Do you say Henna? I got a Henna on my brows. That. Um, so I don't really have to fill it in too much, but I still want to get that really sharp look. So I'm just going to go in and make a line at the bottom and then also in the top. That, that will give me just kind of like that really tight clean line that I want to have and I just fill it in a bit yeah 
So like I've said most probably in the intro already, I'm just going to make like a little talk show video sharing with you my kind of if I'm going out or going somewhere makeup look. And you can already see what difference that does. This is my eyebrow that got the, that has just a henna treatment and it's wax and everything. And then this is the one that's just filled in which is slightly a bit darker and a bit more tight. I really love this pencil. I would tell everyone to try it. I think one of my friends actually recommended it to me once a few years ago. And ever since I've been buying it because it's so affordable. And I love to stock up on it when there's glamour day. And Netherlands it's usually twice when the seasons are changing. Or twice or three times a year, I believe it is. And you get things on discount and Douglas usually has 20% discount off then on it, on their whole collection or on selected lines. So that's the perfect time to stock up on this. What I forgot to mention before was, is that I did tone my face and apply some coconut oil all over. I love toning with rose water, it's super affordable. I get mine at the Tainan and I just apply it or put some hair into my Margarita School spray bottle, recycling. And I spray that all over my face or onto the cotton pad and just like clean away all the junk off of my skin. And yeah, it makes for the perfect toner. Super affordable because it comes in a really big bottle, so you have, or I have a lot to use. Um, and I use it on a daily. And then like I said, I applied some coconut oil, which is this one I have here. It's 100% raw coconut oil that I got in Carousel the last time I went. It is amazing. Um, it smells so good. You know like when you get that real quality coconut oil you know you just know that it's good because it smells like actual proper coconut oil so yeah after I do that to my brows I'm just gonna like feather them out a bit more here in the front lately I have been using I think NYX is like making a comeback for me because I'm not realizing that I also use the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Kit that they have. It is, I think I have this forever, like, you know when some people say you should throw your makeup after so long? I don't do that. Oops. But anyway, I'm going to be using the Conceal Correct and Contour Kit from them. It's just this one. What I like to do is, mix these three colors so that one that one because this color finish that was like my perfect one and i just grab some of this one which is the actual contour color and then i create like a little brown just to go around my eyebrows just using a concealer brush i and if it's a bit too dark because then i like to have my eyebrows really brightened I just make it a bit more lighter, like this, and apply that. So as I was saying in my intro, I have missed making YouTube videos and I really want to start back doing them because it's just something I like to do in my free time. and makes me feel good like I'm creating content I like creating content I like dressing up I like just making videos and putting myself out there I would love to also be like a bit more open and then share some like story times I think that would be good like I have some really juicy stuff that I've been through in the last few I should do some story times about those things. I think you guys, and I think y'all would really enjoy it. I also have some mint tea here and some water because I went out on Friday and me and the baby actually went a bit too far. So we need to get hydrated again. She, a lot of 
liquids to go in to get rehydrated. So I'm just gonna be drinking in between. What I'm going to do now is blend out the concealer that I've added around my brows. Um, and I don't know what kind of what kind of makeup I should do. I think I'm going to use um, foundation today. I started actually just using concealer under my eyes, around my mouth, and that's it. Under my brows, and my brows. But I think today we're going to go for like a kind of full glam since we're going on a date. Since we're going on a date, I'm just gonna blend that out a bit. So that's not too harsh when I put my foundation on. And again, brows are of course cousins. They're not like identical twins. Or you can just say they're actually sisters. But you know, one got a different baby daddy than the other one. So, and this brow is always my favorite brow. Like, it's always like the nice one. This one was for a while, but I don't know what's been going on with this one. But it's fine. We don't gotta be too, too, too perfect. Right? So I think today we're going to go for some foundation. And what I'm gonna do is just apply this Fenty Beauty foundation onto my skin. What I have to do sometime too is actually leave it warm up on my hand and then apply it to my face because I feel like it has some time to warm up. But I also do it like this where I leave it just go onto my face and then let it warm up as well if that makes any sense. And then I feel like it just blends out a bit more better. been on my face for a while I'm just gonna go and blend it out with my little beauty blender I got this one at TK Maxx because I wanted a blue one blue is my favorite color mm, but I really want like a blue blue one like a true blue beauty blender a true blue beauty blender true blue beauty blender say that 10 times fast enough and I think you won't make it because that's a real tongue twister it's not much like it isn't sitting on my face really heavy so that's nice and as you can see my skin is a lot better than what it used to be it's gotten a lot better after using Roaccutane and also just taking a bit more better care of my skin. I have really seen, well, not taking much more better care of my skin because there's nothing I've done or I didn't do to like help my skin just be perfect. Just that I have the real acne in my system or had it in my system. I got like rid of all the acne and now I really just re realized a difference in my skin and how nice it is. I also think going on vacation and the sun and the salt water really helped my hair or my skin a lot. My skin is amazing when I go in the sun. And then it just literally acts right. And now we're just going to be looking like, what the hell is she doing? But trust me, it's all gonna blend out. I won't have this like flashback white face, like looking like a little ghost. It will all blend out. And I did apply my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. It is one of my all-time favorites from MAC. Because you know, MAC hype is over. But that's one of the concealers I really like. And this just takes a lot of time because you need to just blend, 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 blend.
they've been realizing I've been saying, yeah, I want to make videos. I want to make videos. I want to start making. And then it's like, oh, you're going to make a video. What are you doing? You're lying. You don't want to make videos. But I lost motivation. I really, really did. I think I was just enjoying life and... Also my laptop, my laptop is really slow. I'm going to get a new one. These next few videos, I think maybe like two, three videos, I'll just edit on my laptop. Mm. My current laptop. And then I'm gonna go and get myself a new MacBook. Make a little investment. And why is that one? It's like not blown now. Buy myself a new laptop so that I can have speed to work with because my current laptop, believe it or not, is from 2011 from when I ooh, from when I moved to Holland to study. So I think it is more than time enough that I need to get myself a new one and make that investment. So yeah, and what I'm doing now is just taking the Laura Mercier powder in medium deep this one applying that to the places that i added in concealer and what i'm doing is, is i'm actually going to just be powdering it in and like pressing it away and not leaving it so really not baking because you know baking is like so 2017. <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's going on with that like what is that like doesn't want me to be great. It's like if I was crying or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going to be blending that in and applying the Laura Mercier powder a bit like all over my face. I love this powder. It's really, really nice. And then I'm going to be taking the NYX kit again, which was in the Conceal, Correct and Contour and using the deep color just as my contour color. But yeah, getting some of that on my brush and then I'm just applying it to each part to make my face a bit slim because we have been eating a bit too much lately. And just down my nose, not really going to do it too perfect, just like that. I'll just apply it for now and then what I like to do is to take my Sasha Buttercup powder. Oh yeah, because those two I mixed when I was doing the under eye stuff. And just all of that hair. So it gives me some kind of... There's a lot of like powder and stuff I left on my face. I like to just take my foundation brush or a brush that I use for powder just to sweep everything away. And if you want to see how I wash my hair, let me know. Or not how I wash my hair, how I style my hair lately. Let me know and I'll make a video. But I think I'm going to make one no matter what. So if you let me know you don't, I'll still make one. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'm going to make one, but I really want to get my hair cut into a shape. I'll try to insert a picture to show you. And there's like some places here in Holland that I heard that can cut my hair in that shape. But I just want to find someone that can really, really do it because my ends need some love and they need to be cut away. They're not doing it right now for me. And I just want something different. I've been wanting this haircut for the longest, like the longest. I don't know why that's funny yet. 
Well, I don't know why. It's because I haven't found somewhere that can actually cut my hair in that style. Like, I know for a fact that they will get it in that style because I really do want to have my hair like that. But I'm just going to try and see if two more places on Instagram that I messaged uh, are going to get back to me because you know some of these Instagram pages, they don't answer the DMs because they don't want to answer you on DM. Which is fine, but I just need to find someone that can do it for me soon. But otherwise, I'm just thinking I might cut my hair really short. And if these people don't answer me, I might just do that. Like, really, really short. So hopefully I find someone that can do it for me soon. I kind of highlighter do I want to go with today? But before I do my highlighter, I should actually prep my lashes. And I think today we're going to go for big lashes. I'm going to be using these bad boys from AliExpress. I mean, these bad boys, they're so nice. Oh my god, I love them. When I first got them and I put them on, or when I first got them and saw them in the packaging, I was like, oh my god, what is this? These are too much, these are too extra. But I wore them and I thought, okay, they're, they're okay. And then I gave a pair to one of my friends and I saw her wearing them and I was like, oh. Those lashes are really cute. And that's how I look with them. <laughs> so ever since I've been in love with them. I even ordered, I think, two more from, from AliExpress. Coronavirus. Let's just not even go out there. I'm not worried about it. Are you? Tell me, are you worried about the coronavirus? Coronavirus? I am not. I am not, not really, mm -mm. no, no, no. So I'm just going to be applying some lash glue to my lashes and putting them to the side so they can get tacky and that makes for an easier application. I'm obsessed with highlighter, it's like one of my favorite things, summer, winter, fall, spring, I'm gonna wear it. Um, and I'm taking the one from Fenty. This is in Kilowatt, Ginger Binge, and Moscow Mule. I'm also adding some of this, like, when I apply my lip gloss and my lip liner, it's like, oh, cool. Applying lashes was really hard for me, but now it's not that hard. But I feel like now that I'm going to film myself putting them on, it won't work. So I'm just gonna try and concentrate and then put them on. Are amazing. I love these lashes so much. I feel super extra when I wear them. But we're going on a date! So this is how my one eye looks with them on and the one without. Isn't this so nice? I like them especially because they start really short and then they feather out, which gives it like even more realistic look. Because I used to get one on one or one by one lashes done, but now that I know how to put on lashes and the strip, I thought, oh, why not just look for a really good pill and put them on? And these are perfect. They look super realistic, comparable to that one on one technique. And what's really nice about these ones in particular is that they have that really thick band. So you don't have to have to put on uh, eyeliner when you put them on because they have that line with them. Apply some mascara to my bottom lashes or to my top, to my top lashes just to like get my natural lashes attached onto the 
fake ones. That's lashes on. We're almost done. Yeah, I think today we're going to go for a nice glossy lip. I'm going to be using my new favorite standard combo. This brown lip liner is amazing. It was super affordable, I think about three euros at Kiko and it's really nice and creamy, very comparable to the Kat Von D lip liner. I had one from her that was like the perfect brown and I was searching for a long time just for like a really, really good affordable brown. And I checked Kiko out and Kiko came through with this one. So if you're looking That's it for lip liner. That perfect lip liner. This 3D Hydra lip gloss in the shade 21 from Kiko again. It is the perfect gloss color for brown skin girls. It is super cute, love it, and I love the applicator. I just need. my lips it's an amazing gloss and just to be a bit extra I'm going to be applying some of the Fenty diamond milk to the inner parts of my lips to give it a bit more I used to hate putting on gloss. But for a while now, I love it. I love a good lip gloss. That's there. And yes, what do you think? This is my makeup. that all blended out a bit this is what you call a good basic face mm, I wouldn't say basic because it has a bit of pizzazz with the lashes but this is like what I really was going for today and you see I think I need some more highlighter so I'm just gonna add a bit more because because you won't want to see the shine and I'm not just adding a bit of gold from the Hootie Beauty 3D, 3, what is wrong with you in these D's? 3, 3D highlighter palette. This is a stunning palette and it's the perfect, the perfect highlighter because you have everything that you need inside of him. They're all pretty colors. Just adding that to the top, this gold color in Maldives. I'm adding that to the top part of my Fenty to the bridge of my nose and the top of my lip. Yeah. I think that's better. And then I'm just gonna again go in my brush, blend it out a bit. And that's it. That is it. Oh, one last thing. I love finishing my foundation and my face when I do it like this with my rose water again. The one I did put into my Mario Bradescu spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray it all over my face and let that like do its work. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you wanna see some more videos from me? If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. When you give it more thumbs up, that way my video can also get more views and people can just see my channel a bit more often on their timeline. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.